Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with South students. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from them later in the show. Good morning once again, and welcome to the Falcon Report for this Friday, the 10th of February, a day two. I'm Luke Lopez. And I'm Kenny Hui. The Cultural Society recently celebrated Asian culture. Ethan Ali was on the scene to tell us the details. I'm here in the middle of Asian night. From battling it out at ping pong tables to hitting the stage and carry kissing lips, Asian night was packed with lively activities. In addition, Food and beverages from various Asian cultures on the tables for each attendee to enjoy an array of events. In the end, full and happy participants played rounds of blue kit and left with goodie bags. For the Falcon Report, I'm Ethan Ali. The second half of the school year means early preparations for graduation as South seniors recently ordered their cap and gowns. During their lunch period, students headed down to the gym lobby where they met with a variety of packages and options. Before entering the line to place an order, seniors measured their height, which they would use later on in their order. After choosing from each of the packages, each student left the lobby in anticipation for their cap and gowns and future senior class activities. February saw the kickoff of South's Art Fest. With the aim of appreciating art and learning new techniques, participants entered into a fun-filled workshop. Heart. And remember, you can pick the theme. For this one, I think I'm going to do in the reverse. I'm actually going to do the cool colors on the inside and the warm on the outside. Among using their existing art knowledge and materials, members learned a new method of creating art, printmaking. From an additive method to a subtractive procedure, each art honor society member appreciated art in new ways. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll talk much more about Black History Month and sports fun. But first, a bird's eye view of South in the Dark. The Falcon Report will be right back. Now my life is rosy Since I bought my rosy With a flaw like rosy How can I be blue? Hand in hand will mosey Me and little rosy I'm so glad she chose me Life is one sweet, beautiful song to me. How does Kermit the Frog do it? Hey man, you should help South Science Honor Society collect supplies for Valley Stream veterans that are also in the hospital. That sounds like a good idea. Is this enough? Golly gee, that is more than enough items! With the start of Black History Month, students have done their share in commemorating historic figures and events. Aiden Johnson has the story. February 1st marks the beginning of Black History Month, and to honor black innovators and civil rights activists, the History Honor Society is decorating doors. February 1st marks the beginning of Black History Month, and to honor black innovators and civil rights activists, the History Honor Society and Ms. Audrey's Keeney's Sociology class are decorating doors. With that one objective in mind, students could use their creative ability and the art supplies provided for them to effectively display both modern and historically significant black figures. While some designs emphasize equality, other students placed importance on the black people who brought on those advances. The doors of history teachers reflect all the progress made towards equality, thanks to South's very own students. For the Falcon Report, I'm Aiden Johnson. To commemorate the end of their winter season, the track team held a party to celebrate their memories and successes. Finally, into South Hall, athletes were met with pizza and friends as they celebrated their achievements. 
Amongst the festivities, senior athletes had the opportunity to have their senior posters signed. To honor those that placed highly in their respective competitions, awards from the conference championship were handed out, filling the room with applause and further excitement. As pictures were taken and memories made, each student athlete left in remembrance to their winter season. After the Arctic blast last weekend, the weather has been relatively consistent. Yep, I hope these trends continue until Sunday for the Super Bowl, but let's check in with Dash Ultra Pierce to make sure. Dash? Well guys, the weather has been and will continue to be consistently consistent. Slightly warmer temperatures will be sustained over the next few days, making for a pleasant weekend all around. Today, mild temperatures will be in the 50s, accompanied by light cloud cover. Mild and breezy conditions throughout the day will only cool into the high 40s. On Saturday, we'll see cooler temperatures with the wind in the morning. Increasing cloud cover will carry over from Saturday into Super Bowl Sunday, yet temperatures will remain cool and comfortable. No matter who you're rooting for this weekend, I'm rooting for the beautiful weather to come. Back to you in the studio. The boys basketball team has been dominating the competition, winning their last two games. We bring in the Falcon Report's Alina Trzinski for all the details. Alina? Thanks guys. The boys basketball team had a stellar performance this past week in two home games. On Saturday, Academy Charter was totally unprepared for the offensive explosion that Falcons had waiting for them. South's shooting was on fire as they scored 23 points in 3 minutes. Senior Gavin Benavides scored a total of 14 points, in which 12 of them being 3-pointers in the first half. Senior Nick Parisi had a thunderous dunk in the first quarter. Senior Andy Durant scored 20 points throughout the game. Overall, South made 60% of their shots and won decisively 85-44. to Then Tuesday was not only Senior Day, but also another huge win for the boys. This time, the Falcons' defense took center stage. South held one of the county top scorers to only 12 points. This tremendous effort was due to the pressure from Terry Tillock and Andy Durant. Though South trailed 19-16 at halftime, the Falcons nearly doubled their score in the third quarter, led by Robert Jones scoring 13. Sophomore Brady Del Valle chipped in 12 points. In the fourth, South pulled away thanks to powerful play by Nick Parisi, Gavin Benavides, and Andy Durant, and wound up with an impressive 51-35 to win. And that's sports. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. For Kenny Hui, I'm Luke Lopez. Have a great weekend, South. Hey Luke, you know Valentine's Day is next Tuesday, right? Is it, Kenny? Well, it is. Do you have a Valentine? I don't. Will you be my Valentine? <gasps>